Good day and welcome to the channel. In this very short video, we're going to explain how to send mail from a Microsoft 365 email alias. So in other words, if you have aliases set up in your Microsoft Office 365 uh, backend, you can send email directly from those addresses. Prior to about a year ago, you couldn't do that. From a year ago back, if you wanted to send mail from an email alias, you were required to purchase an additional license. That's no longer the case. We'll also show you how to create an email alias uh, as part of this video, and then we'll have a companion video showing you how to sort inbound mail uh, that are that's going to an alias into a separate folder, if that's something you're interested in. You don't have to be, but a lot of people will be. And there's a little quirk with it, so it's beyond the scope of this video. So let's get to it. How do you enable uh, sending email from an email alias with Microsoft 365. Well, it's not very hard, but it's not obvious. So the first thing you need to do is turn the feature on. It is off by default. Go to portal.office.com and sign in. If you haven't uh, already, uh, if you are an administrator and you need to be an administrator to make this change, you will see admin at the bottom left. Click on that. Uh, then click show all on the bottom left and scroll down to exchange, click on exchange, click on settings, and here you will see mail flow. Click on mail flow and this is the new setting in the top right here. Turn on sending from aliases. I already have this turned on. Now a note, once we turn this on it can take anywhere from zero seconds to two or three hours to come into effect. I've set this up for a number of clients in recent weeks and I can tell you we have seen it again be instant. We have seen this change take a few hours. So don't panic if it doesn't work for you right away. Just wait a while. So click that checkbox on, turn on sending from alias, click save at the bottom. Then what you need to do is go to your Outlook or Outlook webmail. We'll show you how to do this in both and bring up a new email message. And in the options, you will see a from button. Now you can see I already have this turned on, or I already have the from button here, and there should be uh, another from button up here that I can click to turn this off, but you can't. Once you turn it on, it's on. It's a known bug, and there's nothing much we're going to do about it. Once from is on, it's on. So press the button up here, right beside BCC to turn on from, and this will appear. From this point on, you can select what address you want it to come from. So this is my default address and I want it to come from a different address. How can I change from my default address to an alias? Not very hard. Click the drop down on from and select other email alias and type in the alias that you already have set up. So I'm going to use my info at urtech.ca. By the way, if you don't have any aliases set up, don't worry, we'll show you how to do that next. It's very easy. So let's click on OK. And now I will send this to a garbage account that I use just for testing. And I'll call this test A. And I'll just put a bunch of A's in here. And click send. And then let's go off to that garbage email address and see if it came through as my primary account or as my info at UR Tech account. And there it is. It came through. There's test AAA. And you can see it came through as info at urtech.ca. Now, just a note, uh, if this doesn't work for you instantly, as I mentioned before, don't panic, just wait. It will work in a few hours. Okay, so we've shown you how to set up your from address uh, button in Outlook. Let's show you how to do it in OA or Outlook Online or Outlook on the web or uh, Outlook web app, whatever you want to call it. So go to portal.office.com, click the uh, waffle in the top left-hand corner, the nine dot, uh, and go to Outlook, or you can just go to outlook.office.com, whatever rings your bell. And here, what you want to do is click New Mail, and under Options, there is the From button right there. So I can turn this on and off by clicking the Show From. Now, uh, this gets to the question of how do you create email aliases? Not very difficult. We'll uh, show you that right now. So uh, what you do is go back to your Microsoft 365 admin portal 
and uh, which you can get to by portal.office.com and then selecting admin and that'll take you right here and go to your users active users find the user you want to create the alias uh, with or for and on the right side select manage username and email then in here you can see i've got a pile of aliases yes i've got them grayed out because i don't want you to see them but i do and i can type in whatever alias i want so i could have rsvp at urtech.ca for instance that could be an alias i want to use and boom it's added if i have multiple domains i can use those as well i've tested that so there i've got an alias now we will have a video available that's uh, linked in the top right hand corner showing how to sort inbound uh, mail that's going to an alias to a subfolder it's just an option some people want to have that some people don't if you do want your inbound mail that's going to various aliases to go to separate folders not a problem at all uh, but it's a little quirky and it's definitely not obvious it, it doesn't work the way you doesn't configure the way you expect it to once it's set up, it works perfectly. Uh, and so again, if that's something you're interested in, click the link in the top right hand corner. And that's it. Hey, if you found this video useful, please give us the big thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. Subscribe's also appreciated. And if you have any questions or concerns, you can get a hold of us directly at urtech.ca or you can leave a question or a comment below. And if we don't get back to you, somebody else will because on YouTube, everybody has an opinion. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye bye.